So what we announced today is that we're going to roll out over the rest of the year are a couple of things. One is that we're going to let people be able to watch videos with other people while they are in their video chats, uh, in group video chats, or just in messenger uh, group video chats. We feel like that's going to open up a new opportunity for new levels of engagement and uh, time spent on the app, because now all of a sudden you can watch a clip or you can watch a video, and this is something like I like to think about distributed living room. It used to be that you need to get into one room together to watch something. Now you can do it from multiple places at once. And what about for advertisers? What are the tools you're offering that could actually end up driving ad revenue? So for a while, we've been focusing quite a bit on what we call click-to-messaging ads, and those are the ads that advertisers can buy. And click-to-action there is message. Once you tap on that, if you're a person, if you're looking through your newsfeed or you're on Messenger, tap on that message button, you open up the thread between you and the business, and then business can do a bunch of things with you. It, business can help you. Business can sell you things. Uh, business can... Uh, allow you to book an appointment with that business. So what we did today is introduce a bunch of templates, like appointment booking template or a lead generation template that will make it even easier for businesses to monetize those threads going forward. So new ways for, for businesses also to, to generate different kinds of ad revenue for Facebook. But one thing I thought was notable is that Messenger isn't just about messaging anymore. Now you're bringing in updates from Facebook. You're bringing in stories from Instagram. So it sounds like it's going to be pretty crowded and look a lot like Facebook or even like Snapchat. How do you avoid Messenger getting so crowded that it's just like so many of these other services? That's a, a great question. And so actually the way we are thinking about it is that we are on our general path to simplification, whatever we do on Messenger from the user's perspective. Uh, our M4 redesign, the big redesigns that we did last year, we announced at, M, uh, at F8 actually last year and then we rolled it out as the rest of the year. We went from nine tops on Messenger to three. And so what we are announcing today is that one of those three tops, which is a separate place, which you don't have to go to if you don't want to, if you just want to stay where messages are in your inbox, you are welcome to do that. But if you choose to go to that other place, this is a place for friends. This is a place for people who are close to you, for your family. This is a place where you get updates, where you get status from them. Whatever they want to share with you in a very graphical, visual format, through stories, through uh, statuses, uh, all of that's going to live there. And we think that's going to lead to even more opportunity for people to stay closer to each other and get connected. Will, do you want to jump in here? Yes, uh, thanks, Julia. Stan, I, I wanted to ask about how you're thinking now uh, about WhatsApp and uh, the, the level of encryption it currently carries, if that's likely to be the case forever, and it being a standalone uh, messaging service. Uh, and, and if it is, whether that makes it much harder to monetize. So uh, one of the things that we talked about today is actually interoperability. And so the way we are thinking about it going forward is that Messenger and WhatsApp need to be interoperable and people should be able to send messages from one to another if they want to. When it comes down to encryption, then um, I will say that right now we are not using content of the messages even on Messenger for any types of advertising. All of that is just there and it's already private except that it's not end-to-end -end encrypted. So going forward, we definitely are going to double down on end-to-end -end encrypted, and we going to be more encrypted WhatsApp style, and we will need to do that in order to allow interoperability, but we don't see that as an impediment to monetization.